Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be welding the spark plug socket onto this extension. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to replace all the spark plugs on my uh, Dodge Ram 1500 with a 5.7 Hemi. That has 16 spark plugs and I'll uh, go ahead and demonstrate the issues. You go ahead and you put the spark plug inside of the spark plug socket, but now it won't come out, right? So that's good. You put it in the engine, thread it in, whatever. And now it's time to pull the spark plug back out. Well, it's about this deep from where my finger is. It's about from here to here. That's, that's all what's inside the engine. So you go to pull on the extension and the spark plug is in the engine. You pull and the extension just comes out of the spark plug. Now what I could do is I could go out and buy a spark plug socket with an extension already built onto it, or I can just weld this, uh, these two pieces together so it would come out, out like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and ground down or just kinda rough this up a little bit right on this edge. Get off me, you dance around it like a sombrero We can all see you fucking salty Cause young Gerald's balls deep inside a Halsey uh, Now that these two are welded together The spark plug socket won't get stuck in the engine I'll be able to pull it out uh, Using the extension of course So yeah, um, now What we're gonna do is uh, fix The tail light On the Dodge Ram uh, It's been working and it's been not working It depends on the time of day uh, I'm not really sure why it doesn't work in the morning, but it works in the afternoon. Um, so we're going to go ahead and investigate. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the turning signal. I'll probably just turn on my hazards. My hazards are right up here. Okay, we'll go around. That one works. That one works. This one is not working currently, but that one is working. So we're going to go ahead and take this side apart and see what's wrong with it. As you can see, there are two fasteners holding on the rear tail light. They look like they are T25s. You get a T25 bit. I happen to have this for a ratchet. A screwdriver would be probably a lot faster. But the great thing is, is they're not in very tight. Oh, now it's working. Okay. Now it's not working. Now it is working. Ah, this is really weird. I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle the wires and see what it might be. All right, so I think I narrowed it down to this uh, yellow wire. If it's not working, I moved the yellow wire and it's working. So, 
You see as I move the yellow wire to the right, it is flashing. I move it in, it stops working. So it seems like that the easiest way to fix this issue is if I just tape the I just tape it up like that. It'd be better if I had zip ties, but I don't. it's working uh, this is probably just gonna be a temporary fix for now I don't really feel like going in here and trying to fix it if this works and it works So, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah, and in the next one, I'll be putting all 16 spark plugs in my truck. Hopefully, the spark plug socket won't get stuck in the engine anymore. All right, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.